so yeah as I was telling you in the previous video uh, there's a pathway okay there's a distance from the Uban Krumelanke the train station and the lake it's about 10 to 12 minutes walk okay and on that path I saw a lot of interesting villas a very beautiful neighborhood which is Krumelanke and I just want to share this with you and to show you what an upper middle maybe even upper suburb looks like in Germany so yeah follow me as you can see it starts just in front of the lake and they're basically all over like huge villas huge mansions like this one amazing isn't it or that one on the right hand side really look at this and it goes like this like all the way towards Uban Krumelanke which is somewhere there about 1.3 kilometers walk look at this So I've been looking for this, uh, let's say, posh area, posh suburb kind of thing in Berlin. And I partially found it in Grunewald. Okay, for sure, that's amazing. Partially found it in Grunewald, but here I'm finding it in spades. Really so good. Look at this. Look at that. And with all this vegetation, the trees look great as well. Fantastic little contraption here by the Germans. And this neighborhood, in my opinion, especially on the street called Fischerhuttenstrasse. So it's like the old fisherman's hot street. Here, this is a modern, it's a model of urban planning. Incredible villas with architecture worth a million bucks, probably a couple of million to be fair. And the vegetation, which is mostly endemic to the place. Some coniferous, some oaks, some temperate climate trees. And yeah, this is great. It's really great stuff. With the risk of boring the people who are not interested in architecture, I'm just going to proceed on with this video. I have to show you the best of this neighborhood. So yeah, Krumelanke and its neighborhood. Really great stuff, honestly. Really great stuff. Like this kind of neighborhood, you'll probably find in the posh suburbs of San Francisco or some places on Long Island, New York. Maybe south of France, maybe. Maybe southwest London, definitely. So yeah, the 10, around 10, 15 places in the world where you can find this kind of luxurious neighborhood like that. Better than this was probably Japan, around the 90s, early 90s, before the housing bubble and the economical downturn of Japan. And that was even more spectacular. 
But yeah, just amazing, amazing stuff, really amazing stuff. There are no homeless people here, I'm telling you. I know people like to see disaster and stuff, but here there are no homeless people. Which is a good thing, but also probably they will not allow this kind of thing to happen here. And the gardening is top as well, because I have to tell you, Germany has apparently, when you look at it at first glance, has apparently worse gardening than the UK, but it's not worse, it's just different. They're having like a more wild approach towards the landscape and not cutting everything into shapes and angles. And probably it's the opposite of Japan. Japan is a bit more controlled, bonsai type school of landscaping. This is wonderful. The only thing that ruins it is like picture of uh, pictures of people who are running for office in the next elections, and that's not too good for my taste at least. I have to admire the coniferous vegetation. In the US, a place like this will be called like something heights. It's amazing. Amazing place. I urge you, if you stuck to the video all this way, just stick to it until the end because it's really worth it. And these kind of places you don't see a lot in Europe. Unfortunately, you don't. I heard about these kind of places in the States, but I haven't been to that part of the world yet, so... I don't know, could be just legend, but you can just have it here, you don't have to go all the way to the States. There's some like this in the UK, very little, but there is some like this, for sure. You know, we see day to day, we see a lot of poverty, a lot of misery, and there are periods of our lives when we experience it as well. And we know it, we discuss it of it. It's very hard to get out of it. But at some time you need to just also focus on what's good in society, not only on what's bad. And it's okay to just admire other people's achievements, even though they're better than you, the achievements, maybe not the people, maybe the circumstance involved, of course. But yeah, it's good to just see beautiful things in society and see other people who've done much better than you. And you have to admit in the end. If, if you can't be number one, then you have to respect the people who are number one. Okay, take this with a pinch of salt, of course. It's not, it's not all black and white, there's a lot of gray areas. But yeah, most of it is kind of like this. Yeah. yeah. I just love Krumelank. And I'll be on the lake for sure in the summer. 
So yeah, from Crew Melanke, I urge you to subscribe to the channel. Also click the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I'm posting something new. And in the description you're gonna have the possibility of donating to the, towards the channel. If you want, donate. If you don't, that's fine with me. And yeah, so far so good. So what?